that's why I love science, Gus. It explains so many things. Hi, little kiddos. I'm just talking to Peck on my iPad and snacking on some gummies. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Say hi, Peck. Oh, uh, hello, little gators. <laughs> Well, I'm having one of my famous all-natural organic popsicles. Wait a second. Where does that gummy go after I eat it? Oh, Peck! Do you ever wonder where food goes after you eat it? Actually, I do, Gus. Which is why I made my latest invention. The Organ Scanner 9000! Whoa! Come on over so you can check it out. Awesome! I'll be right over! Uh, I don't know if I feel too good. Huh. Oh, it's just you, Gus. I thought I heard an animal growling. Nope, just my tummy. Allow me to introduce to you the all-new Organ Scanner 9000! Oh my gators, that's cool! But what does it do? I'm glad you asked. At first glance, it looks just like a square tablet mounted on a pole, right? Yeah? Wrong! Gus, why don't you stand behind it so I can show you how it works? Whoa! It works, Peck! The Oregon Scanner 9000 displays a high-def, real-time X-ray image. Look, little gators! Those are all the gummies I ate earlier. What do you think they're all going to do in there? I don't know, Gus. Maybe they're taking a nap. Actually, Gus, the gummies are in the process of being digested. Digest? What does that mean? It means your body is breaking down the food for nutritional value. Let's see how the organ scanner reports the gummies nutritional breakdown. The report says gummies are only 5% healthy. Yikes. They only have a couple of grams of protein. That's not a lot, Peck. Oh, no wonder I don't feel so great. What exactly is the process of digestion? The digestive process first begins with ingestion, which starts at the moment you put something in your mouth to eat or drink. Then, physical digestion begins when you start to chew your food, breaking it down into more manageable sizes. Whoa! I didn't know digestion started the moment you put a piece of food in your mouth. I gotta say that eating the gummies is my favorite part of the process. But that's not all. There is chemical digestion as well. That happens with enzymes in the saliva that starts to break down the food even before it's swallowed. So, what happens next to all the gummies that I ate earlier today? Once the food is swallowed, the food moves down the esophagus, which passes the food from your throat all the way down to your stomach. Well... My tummy feels funny and keeps making rumbly noises. Sounds like your stomach is working really hard by using stomach acid to break down the food that you previously ate. The stomach muscles then squeeze and compact the food down so they can move through the small intestines where most of the nutrients are absorbed. Well, how long is it going to take for the gummies to be digested? This process can take anywhere from six to eight hours. Gummies are some of the hardest foods to digest because of the artificial sugars. I guess that's why my stomach doesn't feel so good. This is why it's so important to eat healthy foods. Vitamins and nutrients in healthy foods help the body to feel good, while junk food can make the body feel not so good. I see! So I need healthy foods to feel better. Here, Gus. Have a banana. It's rich with pectin which will help with your stomach pain. <laughs> <laughs> Peck, tin, <laughs> I get it. See the nutrition report? The banana is 96% healthy for you. Good job, Gus. Thanks, Peck. I'm starting to feel better already. My body feels better because of the nutrients, and my mind feels better because I know I'm eating a healthy food. That's right, Gus. You sure did learn a lot today. Sure did, Peck. First, I learned that digestion starts the moment food enters your mouth. Next, I learned about physical digestion, like when chewing food and when your stomach muscles squeeze and compact the food. I also 
also learned about chemical digestion that happens with enzymes in saliva and even stomach acid. Finally, I learned that eating healthy foods will help my body and mind feel so much better. Thanks for teaching me all about the digestive process, Peck. It was my pleasure, Gus. And thank you for watching, little gators. See you next time. <laughs>
So, close your eyes, boys. Are you ready? We're ready. ready. Well, what are you all waiting for? Go on, then. Wow. This food is, tastes really fruity. You're right, Gus. It is really sweet. But where have I tried this food before? Um, I'm going to guess it's a strawberry. And I'm going to guess it's mango. Those guesses are both really good. But the correct answer is... Strawberry! Yeah! Way to go, Gus. You win the challenge. I won! Thanks, Mama! Congratulations, Gus! You did it! Thanks, Peck! You did a great job, too! Here's your grand prize, Gus! This mountain of fresh fruits! Whoa! Get in here and help me out, Peck! You got it, Gus! Yummy! Wow, little gators! That what's in the box challenge was so much fun! Mama made it even harder by making us use our five senses. First, we used our sense of touch and found something really sticky. Peck and I both got scared because we didn't know what it was. But then Peck figured it out and got the first point by guessing it was slime. Then for round two, we had to use our sense of hearing. We put our ears next to the cone shape and we could hear that it was BB chicks inside tripping away. Gus got the answer right and tie up the game at one point each. For round three, we had to use our sense of sight and peek inside the box. We saw something that was white and black, which turned out to be a soccer ball. Peck guessed that one right and was back in the lead. Round four got tougher because we had to use our sense of smell. We took a deep breath and it ended up being flowers inside the box. And just like that, the game was tied up again. Finally, round five was the hardest because we had to close our eyes and use our sense of taste to figure out what was inside the box. Peck and I both took big kid bites. After a few chews, I guessed it was strawberries and won the Mountain of Fruit Grand Prize! Wow, little gators! We had lots of fun playing today's What's in the Box Challenge, didn't we? Yeah, Gus! We sure did! Congratulations, Gus! Looking good! Well, Peck and I are going outside to play with these baby chicks! Thanks for watching and see you next time! Bye! Bye. Hiya, little gators! I'm outside playing while Mom is inside making dinner. Yes! Could you please grab me some tomatoes from the garden? I need that last ingredient to finish making the salad. Oh! Right away, Mama! Wow! Look at all these fruits and veggies! This garden has gotten so big! Uh, wait a second. Where are the tomatoes? Gus! Please hurry, Shug! Uh, okay, Mama! I can't tell which one is which! They all look the same! What's taking you so long, Shug? Well, everything in the garden looks the same. I can't really tell which ones are tomatoes. <laughs> oh, well, Shug, I just finished making labels for the garden. Would you like to help me put them out? Sure, I'd love to help. Okay, Shug. First, we can label the carrots. Yeah, but I don't see any carrots. That's because the carrots are the root part of the plant. So the carrots grow underneath the ground. Wow, Mama, I didn't know that carrots grew underground. That's awesome. Yep, vegetables make up either the roots, stem, or leaves of the plant. Because a carrot is part of the root, that means carrots are vegetables. See over there, Gus? Go ahead and pick one. Ugh. This carrot was in hiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly gator. All right, next we can label the watermelons. Yeah, Mama, I see them over there. They're huge! They are! Another difference between a fruit and a vegetable is that fruits contain seeds, either on the inside 
or outside of the plant. Watermelons contain seeds inside them. I always spit them out when I eat watermelon. You're right, Shug. So, it's a fruit. Good job. I think you're getting the hang of this. All right, Mama. What's next? What's next? Next is the lettuce label. Oh, I know. That's definitely a vegetable. That's right. But how is it a vegetable? Well, it doesn't have any seeds, and we eat the leaves of the lettuce plant, so veggies! Very good, Gus. Okay, next one is the strawberry label. Uh, fruit! Look, the seeds are on the outside. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Shook, final label. Tomatoes! Uh, little gators. Are tomatoes a fruit or a vegetable? A fruit, Gus. Yeah! It's got seeds inside. Oh, you guys are right. Mama, a tomato is a fruit. Oh, Shug, you're right on. You know how vegetables can either be the root, stem, or leaves of the plant? Yeah. Well, another way you can tell the difference between a fruit or a vegetable is that a fruit is produced from the flower of the plant. Do you see those yellow flowers? Yeah. Those will be tomatoes soon. Ah, found you, Mama. This is a tomato plant. Great job, Gus. Now let's go get washed up before we sit down for dinner. Wow, this food looks so fresh. <laughs> it is fresh. Gus helped me pick the ingredients from the garden today. Great job helping Mama, Sport. Did you know that it's recommended to eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables daily? Three cups of veggies and two cups of fruit. No way! Really? That's right. And both fruits and vegetables are high in fiber, minerals, antioxidants, and plant compounds. Wow! I didn't know that. Hey, Shook, why don't you tell your dad what you learned today? Well, first, I learned that the vegetables are made up of the roots, stem, and leaves of the plant. Then I learned that fruits contain seeds, either on the inside or on the outside of the plant. Like watermelon, the seeds are on the inside, and strawberries, the seeds are on the outside. And finally, I learned another way you can tell the difference between a fruit or a vegetable is that a fruit is produced from the flower of a plant. This means a tomato is a fruit. I am so proud of you, Shug. Thanks, Mama, for teaching me about fruits and vegetables today. Hey, son, here's a joke for you. What do you think veggies really want out of life? Uh, hmm. World peace! <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, little gators, for watching my fruits and vegetables video. I hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. was too easy. Hey, Gus. Whoa! Oh, rats. Who's there? <laughs> oh, it's you, Alf Alexa. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was just checking to see if you wanted to go play at the park. The park? Woohoo! We can play tag. Let's go. Alpha, awesome. I bet I can beat you in a race to the playground, Alpha. Challenge accepted, Gus. Three. Two, one, go! You can't catch me, Alpha. You can't catch me. Yes, I can, Gus. I'm going to get you. Tag, you're it. Oh, no. You caught me. What's wrong, Gus? Uh, uh, are you uh, okay? Uh, what do you think is wrong, little gators? I think Gus is tired. It looks like he's out of breath. Uh, I'm okay, Alpha. I just haven't exercised in a while, and I'm already out of breath. Oh, I see. Not exercising.
exercising for a long time will affect how long you can run. Don't worry, Gus. I love exercise. I can show you some exercise tips if you'd like. You would do that for me? Let's do it! Okay, Gus. It's time to try our first exercise. Running! Running? Oh, but I don't like running. The last time I was running, I, I ran out of breath. Aw, uh, come on, Gus. I believe in you. Running is good for you because it makes your heart stronger and helps you build up your breathing. Okay, Alpha. I can at least give it a try. Alpha, awesome! Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Whoa, Alpha, you're super fast. Come on, Gus, you can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Come on, Gus, soon you'll be as fast as Red Titan. As fast as Red Titan? That sounds awesome. Here I come, Alpha. I'm sure glad I brought this water bottle. Good thinking, Gus. It's very important to stay hydrated while we exercise. It is? Why do you think it's so important to stay hydrated, little gators? It keeps you cool, Gus. It cools you off, Gus. Alpha, awesome! You're right, little gators. It helps your body stay cool, especially on these super hot days. <sighs> that was so refreshing. I feel like I'm beginning to cool down already. Come on, Gus. Let's start walking to cool off even more. Let's do it. <sighs> Be one with nature. Hey, Gus, look. It's Peck the Penguin. Hi, Peck. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Uh... Well, I was practicing my yoga pose until someone interrupted me. Oh, rats. I'm sorry, Peck. I didn't know you were trying to focus. What is yoga anyway? Yoga is a type of exercise that involves breathing and holding certain poses to relax the body. Uh, I don't get it. I was working on my new pose and it was very peaceful. Would you both like to try it out? Absolutely, Peck. That would be alpha awesome! First step is to close your eyes and clear your mind. Next, take a deep breath. <sighs> now, raise your hands to the side and become one with nature. <laughs> Rats. Oh no, Gus! Are you okay? Oh gosh, Gus. What happened? I was holding my yoga pose, but then my mind started thinking about gummies! And I lost my balance. Sounds like somebody needs to focus more on their pose instead of gummies. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The day was so much fun! First we learned why running is a good way to exercise. That's right, Gus! Running strengthens your heart and helps you improve your breathing. Oh, oh, and then we'll learn about yoga too, Gus. You have to clear your mind and focus on holding your pose. You're both right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no problem, Gus. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Gus. Are you going to start exercising too, little gators? Yeah, totally. You're not, Gus. Looking good. Thanks for watching my show, little gators! Bye! Bye.